In this lesson, we will discuss linear regression equation and we will predict home pricing using a machine learning technique which is called simple linear regression equation. Here I have written some information that simple linear regression model estimates the relationship between two variables. Means one variable we will take on the x-axis which is called independent variable while other we take on the y-axis which is called dependent variable. So then we have to find out the relationship between two variables and we will make our model in order to predict the prices of the home. Right, the, I will show you the file which we are using. See this is the CSV file and we have two columns. One is the area, second is the price. If the area of the home is 2000 square feet, the price is 250k dollars. If the area of the house is 2700 square feet, the price would be 275k and so on. It means as we increase the areas, the prices increases. So area we have to take on x-axis because this is independent variable and price depend on the column a which is area right so we have to make our model in order to find out the relationship between these two variables linear equation is y is equal to mx plus v sorry b y is the dependent variable x is the independent variable m is called the slope or coefficient while b is intercept or constant in order to start our first lesson of machine learning we have to import some libraries the first one is import pandas as pd second is matplotlib if we want to make some graph we have to import seaborn or matplotlib so here i'm going to install matplotlib.pyplot as plt very important is we have to import sklearn as well so you have to write down from sklearn.linear underscore model import for linear regression and if you will write down scikit-learn on Google, you will find out this site. So we are using this as well. When you will install Anaconda, it will install with it. And the last one is, okay, second last is model is equal to linear regression and then empty or blank parenthesis. This is one of the most important thing when we are going to create our model. It means we have to create linear regression object. So in order to create the object, see whatever name you will use here in order to create the object we will use in our programming as well. And the last one is percent matplotlib inline means whenever we will make our graph, it will show you here, right? So same thing, whatever I have written here, I have mentioned here, I am going to run it. These are successfully imported, right? Okay, now, the second step is we have to give some name to our data frame as we are predicting the prices of our uh, prices according to the square feet area. So that is why I said home underscore prices, whatever name you like, you can give to your data frame, which is equal to pd.read underscore file. And here you have to write down the path of your file where you have saved it. I have told you so many times, but here I am again show you, you have to go where you have saved your data files. See, this is home prices, right click. At the very end, you will see properties. Click here, then security. Here you will see the path. And the last one is the extension CSV. Press Control and V on your keyboard, right? And then here Control V, it will paste here. I'm going to remove this R, so I will show you what will happen. Sometimes when you will run it, you will see the Unicode error. In order to avoid this error, you have to write down R for the read. This is the read file and it's gone. Now you have to check whether your file is here or not, whether it is imported successfully. Write down the name of your data frame, which is home underscore prices and run it. You will see the file which I had shown you area and price. Both are here. Both columns are here. It means it is successfully executed. Now we are going to make a plot. 
so for plot plt dot scatter in parenthesis write down the name of your data frame which is home underscore prices and dot area right because area you have to take on the x-axis it is the independent variable that is you have that is why you have to write down first comma again your data frame name then the second column which you have to take on your y-axis and then execute it it is executed successfully and you will see these are the areas and this is the prices as the area increases the prices increases if we will make some line somewhat it will cover few points right all the points will not on the line but still two or three points will be on the line it means there is a strong relationship between these two variables right Plus one means a strong relationship. Negative one means weakest. But here we are discussing the strong. So it is not one because one means is each and every point should be on the line. Then we can say it is positive one or a strong relationship. Somewhat it is maybe 0 0.96, 0 0.98. But there is a strong relationship, right? If we will present this graph to the audience, I think it is not. It will not show the clear picture. What is going on? What we have taken on the x-axis what is on the y-axis that is why we have to set some labels in order to set some labels you have to use plt dot x label x label for the x-axis y label for the y-axis so in parenthesis you have to write down whatever you want to write down here i said area and then in parenthesis is square fit if you do not want to write down just delete it right it's up to you or if you do not want this parenthesis just delete it but write down in the quotation similarly for y-axis we need price if you want you can delete this parenthesis but i want to show dollar sign that is why i have put dollar sign and the third line is exactly same your data frame name first you have to write down whatever you have to take on x-axis and then y-axis here i have made some more modification i need color green only to show you that it is not necessary it should be blue it's up to you you can write down blue green red whatever you want and marker is a strict or a star when i will run it you will see now green my the color is green and this is a strict instead of blue and circle and you will see we have the label as well this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis clear now we are going to create the object as i have told you in the beginning that model is equal to linear regression and in parenthesis i have used the word model because we are going to create the model so that is same name you have to use here when you are creating the linear regression object when we create this linear regression object it means our model is ready so how you have to make this model cre model created model write down whatever name you have used here then dot fit dot fit function fitting the data means you are training the linear regression model using available data points and then home underscore prices your data frame name and you have to use 2d array when why right if suppose you want to take area on the x-axis whatever you whatever column you want to take on x-axis you have to use double square this is called 2d array comma home underscore prices dot price whatever you have to take on the y-axis no need for the square bracket but for x-axis 2d array so now our model ready to predict the prices right i will execute this it is ready right so here one more time i will show you the graph what i have added here instead of this green i only i want to show you that you can make the changes i said red or d means diamond and the last line you have to write down as it is it will show you that we can make a line as well if you want to see the line see here there is no line only a strict but here you can see easily that this point and this point will touch our line other are 
not on the lines but is still is still the line is going upwards it means that there is a positive relationship between two variables as one variable increases the other increases if you want to see the accuracy of your model then you have to use dot score dot score and then home prices same thing you have to use 2d array here and execute it it means that 0.97 means 98 percent of our model is accurate right okay now our model is ready as i have told you so you have to check that model dot predict now we are going to predict the value see i will show you one more time we have 2000 these are the square feet we do not have any 3200 here if you want to check the if the house is 32 is 100 square feet what would be the price if the house is suppose 3700 square foot if the house is 6000 or 7000 square foot what be the what would be the price of the houses so our model is ready here i said i want to need I want to need to know what is if the house is 3200 square foot what would be the price so just click it it will show you the price would be 328k in dollars right now the question arises now you will think how we will get this figure so in order to find out in order to find this I will show you that the equation is y is equal to mx plus v mx plus b if you want to find out m coefficient then you have to use model dot co if do not write down the complete word coefficient only co if and run it so this is the value of m for b write model dot intercept intercept you have to write down complete word and then underscore run it this is the value of your b and x is independent right here i said 32 so i will apply these two amounts see this is for m this is for m as y is equal to mx plus b put this values here m is equal to this multiply by x we want to find out for 32 plus b right so this is b and again it is not necessary that you have to write down all these numbers after decimal only three are fine but i will show you when i will run it exact you will get 328 approximate right k and here is the same amount is here 328.057 so our model is ready now if you want to check for 6000 which is not in our data if your house suppose is 600 6000 square feet what would be the price just run it it will show you 557k approximately 7000 8000 square feet now our model is ready so how so simple it is right now i will show you one more thing now we have made another excel file see here i will show you only we have area here and we want to predict the prices of 1522 if suppose we have million rows here now it is very easy to predict the prices because our model is ready so i the another excel file csv file the name of that file is area so again pd dot read underscore csv here i have given this the path of the file is ready i want to check whether this is imported successfully or not just write down the name of your data frame and run it see in that file which i showed you recently only there was one column and here is one column now i want to find out the prices to predict the prices as our model is ready so model dot predict instead of writing particularly any square feet just write down area the name of your data file and then or your data frame and then run it it will show you all the prices right so instead of this model dot predict and parenthesis area if we want to write down suppose two or three times this instead of writing this long name we will give some small name so i said i said just give some name price is equal to this so where whenever we will write down price it will show you it will show us these figures so the system will accept it now price is equal to this if you want to add one new column 
to your to your area file which had only one column this suppose you want to add one column here name of that column is prices and you want to write down some prices here so what you have to do here to add new column write down name of your data frame area in a square bracket prices it will show you what should be the name of your column which is equal to price and what is price this whole thing is price if you do not want to give this name just delete this and write down as it is model dot predict area it's up to you okay and then run it now we want to check whether this new column is there in our in our file or not so area and then execute it see the file the numbers are there now we have two columns here in our Jupyter notebook it is done but we have to export these prices to our our CSV file the second file the name of that file is area so what you have to write down area dot two underscore CSV right so when we are importing read underscore CSV now we are exporting so two underscore uh, CSV and write down the extension and index is equal to false means again it's up to you if you want you can delete it this is your homework you have to do index is equal to false means this I do not want this index in my file so when I will run it it is run successfully now I will show you my file see this is my area file there was only one column and the name of that column was area now you can see that see here I will make bolts on so you can see easily see now the prices is also here so I hope that you learned a lot this is our first lesson of machine learning so please practice it see you in the next lesson and thank you so much